All right, you guys ask for these quite a lot, and today we are delivering. I have Cole on the channel. We're going to be doing a fantasy draft challenge. It's going to be a little bit different. We did East and West last time, I believe. I'm not sure if that was last last time, but we've recently. done it in the past anyway. Yeah. Recently, yeah. So anyway, how are you today, Cole? Doing good. We just recorded a video on my channel, and uh, I'm hoping to have some more fun here. <laughs> 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 yes for sure so yeah i'm going to basically randomize the team here and cole's gonna tell me when to stop if it lands on an east team then i will be north america if it lands on a west team then i will be world so i'm starting now let me know when you want me to stop all right um you can stop boom i got the avalanche so i am going to be world and i'll be north america okay yeah, so I guess just pick any East team. <laughs> I'll be the Red Wings. I'll be my sure. team. Oh, wow. There it is. <laughs> All right. So let's get into it here. Hopefully, I get a solid draft position. So just to clarify, for anyone that doesn't know, Cole got North America. So he can basically pick anyone from Canada or the United States. And then I am able to select from the rest of the world. There's an option, I believe. I don't know if it still exists, but you used to be able to set the all-star game to this and i just cool. thought it yeah it's kind of cool it's an option we're gonna randomize here and i will go first so let me know when to stop i'm just continuously randomizing the draft order I'm, I'm, I'm doing the same um i want you to stop in three stop oh wow okay and you stop <laughs> oh i don't know if i like myself i got 27 i got 12 okay neither of us are too high no i think you might be able to snag somebody like I think Dry Saw Kucherov are gonna be gone, but maybe yeah. a Pasternak might be there for you as well. Yeah, maybe. All right. Well, let's let's at hop 27, in. Twenty-seven. I, I think I feel like North America is probably slightly better. We went to go and enter the draft, and when we entered the draft, there was a, a slight uh, slight mishaps there from a video that we did over on Cole's channel. So we had to go modify the rosters a little bit. But uh, we a just few, a few, moved A few back. legends made their return to the NHL. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. They tried to come back, but we shut them down. Yeah. So, yeah, we just put our uh, teams back in our positions, and we're going to start the draft now, once and for all. <laughs> I mean, I got, I got Stammer with my 27th pick, which I'm pretty happy with. I think that's a good... That is a good pick, yeah. Yeah, 27. Not bad. Ooh, I could get uh, the guy... Bergeron, could... wow. I'm going to get a guaranteed Salky trophy here take O'Reilly with my second round pick. <laughs> he, he literally wins it 90% of the time. Like, it's insane. Yeah, that is pretty crazy. Uh, I think I, I'm i going to take Kopitar as my second pick. It's like so, like, that's so much. I, the one thing I always do with fans draft, like, I see a guy who's good, I'm like, how long will he be here? And I always feel like, am I taking him too early? But it's like, screw it. Yeah, it's always risky. Some of these guys I genuinely don't know. Really? Like, who? Like, Krejci. What do you mean? I feel like he's from like Czech Republic or something, but that's I also exactly feel like where he's from. Yeah, but for some reason, I feel like he could just be Canadian. Jarmelson's another guy. I want to say that he's Swedish or something, but I can take Anton Hudobin as a backup. That'd be a pretty fire backup. Not bad. He's also on a killer deal. Not that it matters. <laughs> <laughs> I know, yeah, really? really bad for this. How how's your team look? Like, do you think your team's? I feel like my team's. Aside from the goalie, I think they're solid, but the. <laughs> like, I'm pretty confident, but you never know. Well, either way, I'm not going to call you out on it because I have no idea. A false call out, you just lose your first pick. <laughs> <laughs> That'd for be being, devastating. For being pretentious. All right, so here are the teams that have been drafted by Cole and I. So we're going to go ahead, jump into franchise, put these lines together. Hopefully, we get some chemistry in there somewhere. Maybe I'll get the North American connection. I'll get the <laughs> the world connection. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then we'll see who does better. So just so we know, it's going to be, um, if, if neither of us make the playoffs, it'll be who had the most wins in the season. If we both make the playoffs, it'll be who makes it further. If we both win the Stanley Cup, it'll be who has the better record. And if need be, it will be which team had the player with the most points in the playoffs as the final tiebreaker so we're not gonna if, need, we're not gonna need all that, that. no way but if that <laughs> somehow happens then that just so you know <laughs> just so you know in advance the teams have been assembled and i am going to volunteer cole to take us through his lineup and his <laughs> chemistry first 
All right, I think it's a pretty solid squad. So we got Anders Lee, Steven Stamkos, and Phil Kessel on the first line. Nice. Uh, I got a plus one. Then we have Everly, O'Reilly, and Skinner on the second line. So we should be winning the selfie trophy. Yeah, um, for sure. Parise, Taze, and JVR on the third line. So even if O'Reilly doesn't win it, I think Taze could take the selfie for us. Yeah. And we have, obviously, a lot of center depth. I decided to do that because I feel like you can usually get decent wingers later in fantasy. And then we have fourth line, which are actually the best chemistry. James Neal. Joe Thornton, Bobby Ryan, kind of, uh, you know, journeymen here at this point. Um, all get a plus three, though, so it'd be a pretty solid fourth line. Um, so it's one zero zero three. Yep. Nice, okay. Uh, defensively, we've got Suter and Burns on the top pair, which I'm pretty happy with. Um, second pair is Weber and Keith, a couple older guys, but we end up plus three, so they'll be playing really well. And then Goligoski and Bufflin on the bottom pair, um, which isn't too bad either. Yeah. Uh, goaltending wise, Devin Dumnik's the starter, which is a little bit worrisome. He's uh, only 83, but he's big. He's 6'6. I don't know if that'll help. Yeah. Man's um, a unit. Yeah, Mike Smith backing him up. So we got a couple actually former Oilers, or I guess one's a current Oiler. Uh, the power play, the first one gets a plus three. So I'm actually hoping the power play can go off. The rest of the special teams is basically like zeros. So I think it's I think it's a decent team. I think we have a decent shot at the cup. Yeah, sounds like a pretty solid squad. <laughs> So. Thank you, thank you. Let's, let's hear yours, let's hear yours. I'm a, I'm a little nervous, but um, all right. My first line is a plus one. We've got Panarin, Krejci, and Radulov. That's pretty nasty. Second line is a plus one. We've got Tatar, Kopitar, and Palat. Okay. Third line is uh, zero. We got Steen, uh, Miku Koivu, and Gus Nyquist. And then our fourth line is also a zero. We've got Zuccarello. Philpula and Antoine Roussel. Real quick, didn't you tell? I thought you told me you took Pasternak. Did you actually take Panarin? No, I said Panarin. I oh, I heard. I I, I swear I heard Pasternak. I think you know what you're right. You did tell you did tell me Panarin. You said Brendan, yeah. didn't you? <laughs> this whole yeah. time I, I've been picturing you at Pasternak because I was waiting for you to no. say him. I'm like, is he on the third line, fourth line? No, <laughs> I said I said the bread man. Yeah, no, didn't you're I? Right. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I don't know All why right. I was thinking pasta. <laughs> well, it happens. Wrong food. Yeah, wrong food, exactly. On my defensive pair, we've got uh, Jarmelson and Klingberg with a plus five on the first pair. That's huge. We got Strawman and Gunnarsson with plus one, and then Chara and Stone with a plus one. Wait, Stone, hold on. Apparently, he, I didn't edit my lines fully. He's hold Canadian, on. I think. Yeah, I think you're right. I don't. Ooh. What? Did they send him down to the AHL? Who am I missing? Let me check. Uh oh. What? Who am I missing? Brutal. All right. Well, that's going to probably ruin that chemistry. We'll see what happens. Maybe he'll get like a plus and five. It'll actually not be too bad. It's a zero instead of a plus one. So I'm over it. Do you want to quickly see how our teams match up rating wise? Okay. So then my starting goaltender is Bobrovsky and I have Hudobin as the backup. Okay. So no, they're both quite Russian. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> quite. like uh, whatever he is. Yeah. So Ukraine. we're going to go ahead and... Hop into the play game for just the first preseason game to check the overalls, and then we will start the simulation. Yeah, I'm, I'm there right now. You want me to tell you mine? Sure. So we got 96 offense, which makes sense. I think offense is our strong suit. Right. Defense yeah, isn't yeah. bad either. 93 defense. And mm-hmm. then goaltending, without a doubt, is the weak spot. 84. But I'm hoping Ooh. the team in front of Dubnik's good enough that it's not too big of a deal. I've got 94, 87, 88. Oh, so yeah, I got slightly better offense. You got the better, you got uh, better defense when you have the better goaltending. So yeah, we're gonna sim up to the deadline, and then we'll give you guys a quick update. We're officially at the deadline. I believe we were having some discussions at the beginning of the year. We both had pretty poor starts, not hot out of the gate, but I believe we've both managed to turn it around. So how much has your team managed to turn it around, Cole? Quite a bit. So I I believe we were either like 0-2-1, 0-3-1. Took us to like the fifth game to get a win. And since then, been on a scorching hot streak. Uh, we are 41-13-8 at the deadline, which is very impressive Ooh. considering their start. And even just impressive in general. That is very impressive. Yeah, so 90 so points. My team started at 1-4-1, and, and we are now 40-16-6. and six. So we're you actually also very back. similar. Yeah, yeah, so interesting. Yeah. Who's your leading scorer at the deadline? Let me get that information for you in just a moment. We uh, have Anze Kopitar as the leading scorer. Interesting. The, He's on the second line, too. The Slovenian hero. What's he at? 
He is at 64 points in 62 games. Oh, Panarin's tied with him, though. So I have Stammer. He's killing mm-hmm. it. 86 points in 62 games. Pardon me? Yeah. Hopefully... What's, who's on his line again? Um, Anders Lee and Phil Kessel? That's a couple of beauties. <laughs> crap, that's wild. Yeah. All right, good for them. How's your uh, goalie doing? Is he pulling his way? Both my goalies are doing pretty good. I got Bob with 29 wins and Hudom with 11 905 and 912 and they're both under 3 GAA. That's always solid. Dubnik's pretty good. 0.915 and a 2.4. Smith 915. Not... Yeah, 915 like that. Holy <laughs> crap. How many games has he played? 47. He's yeah, maybe that's Whoa. really good actually. <laughs> that's yeah. really good. Yeah, yeah, cuz 0.92 is really like yeah, you're right. And the 2.4 is not bad at all. Uh Smith though is kind of the opposite. He's got 0.88 and 3.18 Ooh. so he's not really carrying okay. his weight he's barely over 500 yeah, yeah. but dubnik's been solid yeah so i guess get du- a rating boost dubnik's been getting a lot of wins for you and then mine's kind of been like who dobin's also pulling his weight but mm-hmm. you have that starter which is more important for playoffs even though he's actually the lowest rated he's like the same as Kudobin. is Kudobin, wait could might be higher is Kudobin 84 Kudobin's 84 yeah yeah dubnik's only 83 so that's really surprising I know. it's crazy go ahead and sim up to the playoffs i guess and See where that takes us. I feel like we'll definitely both be playoff teams. Yeah, yeah. It's seeming that way. No jinx. <laughs> the season is now complete, and your world draft Colorado Avalanche are President's Trophy winners. Nice. How many points? 114 points and 52 Ws on the year. How did your team finish? So your North American Red Wings finished mm-hmm. with 112 points. Ooh. to win the division but they also had 52 wins so actually the exact amount of wins interesting so if we didn't make the playoffs we would have had a tie yeah <laughs> and uh they, they won the president's trophy as well um they beat nice. up the islanders by two points my leading scorer was kopitar he had 39 goals 51 assists and 90 points panarin's pretty close to him with 86 points but yeah kopitar was the lead i'm assuming stamkos probably carried on from that incredible stat at the deadline what did he finish with so yeah he went from like 80 in 60 to finishing with 109 82 oh um, that's insane and phil the thrill actually had the same amount of points as your second guy 86 points oh wow all right yeah yeah um so brent burns high scoring oh wow burns 70 and weber 63 so they, they both did well and right i remember we were talking about how good Dumnik was doing he kept it up for the most part, 0.913 or 2.47. I think he's got a chance at the Vezina with those stats. That's crazy, yeah. I got 909 out of Bob, 275. And then Hudobin doing pretty good as well. Hudobin has a 910. And I just checked, uh, Stammer did win the Art Ross Trophy, which is really cool. Let's get back to the playoffs and let's see who will make it further, I suppose, unless we both win the cup. I really don't see that happening. But I feel like it's I a lot mean, less we... likely with these two because, yeah, the Sim is yeah. so uh, fluky and just, like, you know, luck based. Exactly. I've so got the, I'm just gonna I've got go the Buffalo ahead Sabres. Basically, sim the whole playoffs in one go, but I'll give you updates. So I am up against the Nashville Predators right now. Okay. I will do the same. Not looking good. <laughs> it is looking pretty good for me, I'll say. Oh. Oh no. I've swept the Sabres. Oh my! We we took it to seven, but we made it. You made it through. Okay. That, that means a right. first round exit for a Presidents Trophy winner is just the most deflating yeah. thing. And it pr- happens a lot. Mm-hmm. But too anyway, much. we got St. Louis in round two. Way too much is right. I've got t- I got the Stanley Cup champs, Tampa Bay Lightning, in round two. Oh, my. We went to seven games again, but we won. <laughs> Same. I, dude, we were down. Uh, my team was down three to one, and they pulled Same, the Golden I State. We, oh, yeah. guys. I now That's have uh, Lafreniere's team, or I guess not anymore. Fancy draft, but it's the Rangers. I've got the Yotes, and we beat them in six. On to the Stanley Cup final. Yeah, you as well? Yeah, I've got the Dallas Stars. I've got the Ottawa Senators. Interesting. Oh, I guess it's a fancy draft. Oh, no, I lost. <laughs> I did not Senators lose. I ground. did not lose. Red Wings are Stanley Cup champs again. There we go. Brutal. <laughs> that was a close one, though. Uh, that was well, close. How many games did that go for you, this final series? The final, I think it went to six. Yeah. All right, nice. We, yeah, we took out Dallas in five here. Both good okay. teams, though. Because, like, like we said, yeah. fancy draft. Or, sorry, the franchise is fluky. For both of us to make the Stanley Cup final, it's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, wow. Gus Nyquist had the most points for me in the playoffs. What the heck? He had 22 points in 26 games. For me, it was Stammer again. 28 and 21. I assume he'll be winning the Consumite. We'll check the awards, right? Most likely. Yeah, let's go to the awards. So, I got Ottawa as the Stanley Cup champions, obviously. And then we won the Presidents and the Clarence. Um, oh, wow. I forgot that there is a player on here. 
Oh, like that is ninety nine overall. <laughs> <laughs> and he got the Art Ross Trophy. He did get the Art Ross Trophy <laughs> as a defenseman. Yeah. Was he on Ottawa? He was on the New York Islanders. Oh, okay, so at least you know you didn't lose to him or something. Yeah. So whoops. I guess that's that's my bad i should have used a different account there's just it gets so confusing doing yeah. all these things with the rosters but claude Giroux won the heart with boston that defenseman guy also won the norris mckinnon won the lady bing he defenseman wins the defenseman guy won the calder <laughs> con smythe goes to patch um vesna goes to markstrom gorgiev won the jennings masterton went to benning yeah well, i mean that makes sense so usually it's a like a lower, like a bottom pair D-man on a bad team. Aside from I that guess. one video where Lidstrom won it somehow. Yeah. <laughs> um, the Jack Adams doesn't matter. Calgary, though. Barkov won the Selkie. Giroux won the Lindsay. And the Rocket Richard goes to Tarasenko. So let's check out your awards now. I'm very curious to see if you did end up winning the Selkie. Yes, because that was basically what I was going for. Uh, so Stanford yeah. won the Art Ross. I mentioned that. He also yep. got the Hart Trophy. Nice to see. Uh, Petrangelo won the James Norris on the Islanders. So the Islanders actually won the James Norris in both of ours. Nice. Um, Sagan won the Lady Bing, though. Lafreniere won the Calder. Stammer yeah. did win the Consumite, which he went off. I, I figured unless Dubnik had really good stats, he wasn't going to take it from him. Uh, yeah. Dubnik did get the Vesna. So that's yeah, awesome. I, I waited to get a goalie, and the I goalie can't wins the that. Vesna. <laughs> yeah. I cannot believe that. The, the world's not fair sometimes. It's really not. Um, Corpy Sallow with the Jennings. Bomeister, Bill Masterton, good to see. Um, yeah. Rangers Jack Love Adams. <laughs> We had O'Reilly and Taze, and Barkov got the Selkie. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Barkov won the Selkie for me as well. Yeah, come on. Uh, Stammer got Ted Lindsay, which is cool, and Melkin got the Marisha Shard. Ooh, Honestly, though, right. I'll take the Stanley Cup over the Selkie any day of the week. So Yeah, that's fair. I'm, that's I'm fair. okay with the outcome here. That was the World versus NA Draft versus Cole. So once again, thank you very much for coming on the channel, Cole. Yep, any time. We did do a video on Cole's channel as mentioned a few times in this video actually yeah. so the link will be in the description go check that out and i guess that's going to do it for this one so thank you for watching and i'll see you later